What's going on guys? Chu here bring you another review slash reaction of Fairy Tale Winter Here Quest. This chapter I want to say was actually kind of a um, good setup chapter. We had to see Elfseria, who we hadn't seen in quite some time. He was mentioned in the last chapter. And we know that Selene is after him, so really it was a good little chapter. We get introduced to some new characters. Um I like the designs, they're very different from what we're typically used to, so this is actually kind of cool. Before I continue though guys, please make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment, all that good jazz as it helps out tremendously to the channel and I would appreciate y'all's support, but let's get into it. So we start this chapter off by having the group arriving to Elfseria. They arrive to his home and we see that at first he doesn't seem to like want to show his face but he ends up showing it anyway and we see how he's very happy he knows everything that's happened at this point he knows what's gone on and i was really surprised that you know he was able to just kind of see all these things he said that though the dragons aren't necessarily killed or sealed away that the powers have been able to been kind of I guess you could say put away at this point you know Alderaan is gone he's he's passed on and microphobia has actually had his powers basically sealed away and therefore you know two of these dragons are no longer a problem and so we see that he knows all this information but he also shares some interesting stuff while I guess sitting around with them at the table talking about how before Diabolos was a Th wasn't a threat necessarily it was one person it was their master george who was in charge of taking care of the 100 year quest which was something that takes fairy tale by surprise uh you know we see how they're not very happy about diablos and the way they work now they are legit they are having committed any problems but we see that with the way george is and how he was taking all of the dragons and killing them and then absorbing them you know it started to become a personal problem and therefore the request was withdrawn and then given to someone else and he said that there should not be any problems whatsoever you know when it comes to fighting and trying to accomplish the goal which you know still is the same to try to get rid of the dragons one way or another but we see how Urza, which I love how she reacts here. She actually says, you know, if they ever cross our paths, that's a whole different story. Like, we already have bad blood with them for what they did to us before. And I do not want to, you know, have to run into them because this is what's going to happen. And I love how Urza is. You know, Urza is big on, you know, defending her and her friends, her allies. And, you know, we see how they have this little moment. However, things go south when we hear Diablos arriving to the Great Labyrinth, which this is an area where we actually hear is protected and very important to Elsiria because we hear that there is a dragon resting there, a sixth dragon. So very surprising information here. Do we actually see that Elsiria is concerned uh, that there is this other sixth dragon that is mentioned never before and now it's being a big deal so a very good chapter like i said a setup one not much to really dive into but guys that is it for me i hope you guys have enjoyed if you guys have leave a like comment below your thoughts and as always stay safe to care yourselves and others and i'll catch you later